I'm going to talk about making some plates today. I make a lot of dinner plates and you have to make sure that they're all the same size and you have to make sure they stack tidy. So when they stack this way they're nested and when they're, in the, when they're in a stack this way they're straight up and down and your stack doesn't go all wiggly. So to start making plates I always throw on a bat, get my bat wet and I'm going to put a little bit of clay on here to hold my bat down. I like to throw on a bat because when I'm finished my plate I can pick up the entire board and not touch the plate. Put some water on the side that's going to be held down by your clay. And then I'm going to make sure my bat is level, meaning the clay on this side is not higher and lower, so it's not going like this. And it looks pretty level. I could tell by the moisture. It's a little bit off. Get my needle. And I can tell if one side's higher than the other, and I'm just going to lower it. That's pretty good. Now make sure your bat is wet. If you put your clay on a dry bat, it's going to take the moisture out of the clay and your, your plate's going to pop off. Especially if it's a nice plate, it'll pop off sooner than later. You also don't want it too wet because then if it's too wet, it's going to go all slidey and it's not going to stick. It has to be just right. Put it on with a bit of tood. This is going to be a dinner plate. So it's going to be a flat, center and to make dinner plates all the same size I always start off with the same size of flat centered if that makes any sense and I have these calipers these are set to salad plates my outside measurement for a dinner plate is always nine inches. I make it nine inches. Nine inches. And the next one I'm going to use is going to be eight inches. And you'll see why in a minute. Eight inches. And I'm going to center this piece of clay. Oh, that was rude. Center this piece of clay more than nine inches. Take my caliper, drop down one side, making a mark. And you can see that's a little bit more than nine inches. And since I'm going to be cutting off the outside edge, I'm not going to worry about if that outside edge is centered or not. There's nine inches, and then the needle that I quickly found, I'm going to cut off the outside part, and making sure the wheel does a lot of revolutions before you make your way down. Remove that, now I have a nine inch piece of clay, and if I start off with the same size of clay each time, Theoretically, my plates have to be the same size. Make that tidy. And open it up. We do have a video on YouTube on how to throw a plate or a large platter. Throwing a plate and platter are the same throw. One is just smaller than the other. So the technique I'm using on this is the same as the one that's on YouTube. Got a messy bottom. I'm going to tidy it up. You're going to let it be a little bit thick when you first start throwing. I'm going to be doing some compressing and some throwing. And you want room, or you want some depth in the bottom of your plate. So as you compress and throw and tidy, you still have plate left when you're done. The outside measurement of this plate is nine inches. Now the inside measurement is going to be eight. 
is not quite there yet. Again, I'm making a little bit thinner. I'm gonna go in and see if it's eight. Not quite there. It's easier to make it bigger than if you go past eight to bring it in smaller again. I'm not quite level, we'll deal with that in a sec. There we go, we're eight inches on the inside. Now these calipers, I call them, are just a half a hanger. I've used that measurement, I don't need it again. So you imagine there's a hanger, there's the other half, and you cut this off and you've got this really cool caliper that once you put it into a size, it's gonna stay, it's not gonna flop around. You don't have to do inside measurements and outside measurements. It's a cool little tool. Now we've got eight inches on the inside. I'm gonna make it tidy. My top wall is not completely perfect. I like dinner plates to be perfect. There, I've only cut off the high piece. And again, I like to keep all this stuff together. Make somewhere to keep my needle. I'm going to seal that up, compress it a bit, because now I'm going to go in with my rib. I really like these ribs for throwing plates and ribs, or plates and ribs, plates and platters and whatnot. I use them all the time. I'm going to go in. still dirty. The next one is, is wet and it's tidy. Go in and angle this way, making sure it's tidy right in there. And then I'm going to lay this right out like that. I've got a weird dent. I always get that when I use that. I'm just going to take again some of this thickness that I left there so I've got lots of room for, for fudge. And you can put fudge on the plate after too. I like this little trick. You can use a softer spatula or a firmer spatula. To tell you the truth, I like the firmer spatula, but my studio's messy, and I spent 15 minutes looking for it and found this one and said, never mind. I'll find it later. This is a neat trick for just making it level. I'm just going to use that spatula as a throwing rib. It's nice and soft and forgiving, and take it to the edge. And then you have a nice level surface. When you're eating, you don't want to be dragging your fork across a bumpy, messy bottom. And I'm going to lay this down a little bit. It's up just a bit. You want to make sure it's completely moist, top and bottom, wherever you're going to touch. And I'm just going to pull it out just a little bit. I'm more compacting the particles than actually throwing it and making sure it's level. Now, if you've done all this, you want to make your plates about 10 and a half inches or 10 and three quarter inches. Uh, cupboards are only 11 inches deep. So if you make a 12 inch dinner plate, you're not gonna be able to close the doors. This dinner plate, when it's finished, I want it to be, like I said, 10 and a half or 10 and three quarter inches. So now it should be 12 and three quarter inches. And now's the tattletale to see if I did it right. So now we are, oh, it's a quarter inch too big. Yeah, right in the middle. Yeah, it's just a sniddle, a little bit too big. You see this is right in the middle of the plate. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna compact it a bit because it's only about a quarter or a sixteenth of an inch. And I'm fussy that way. So now I've just compacted the edge and it still should, when it dries, remain within, no, it's still right on 12. It might not work. But if you're that fussy, and we'll talk about trimming this when it's ready, if you're that fussy when you're throwing to size, when they do stack in the kitchen and the counters, they're, they're tidy. I, they, I don't like dinner sets that there's a big one, a little one, a big one, a little one. They look handmade. They should look handmade, but they should look well done handmade. My house isn't tidy, my pots are. I've opened that up. I'm going to seal that just a little bit. 
Now you have to really watch at this point as you start working with it, the edge wants to flop down and your plates get really flat. They do fit really well in the dishwasher when they're flat, but they lose sort of their appeal. And I guess it's personal appeal. Measure this guy now, it should be 12 and 3 quarters, or 12, 11 and 3 quarters it is. And when it dries, it'll be 10 and a half, 10 and 3 quarters, and fit exactly in the cupboard. It's done with my wire. I like this wire. This wire has a long story to it, and we'll put together a tool video, but I like this. This is a wire I make myself out of a very thin wire and clothes pegs, and I'm just going to cut it under there and pull. Now, when I'm doing that, I'm pulling really hard to make sure that the wire stays flat and down on the plate and doesn't go up, because if it goes up like that, when it pulls, you're going to cut the bottom of your plate. Now, I want to remove my plate, so I have my knife put my knife under there and I like to put my knife in there and as I say just give it a twist and my plate now is ready for drawing if you're making a set of plates you got to make a whole bunch more just like this